Well, good evening, my friends. I hope you're doing fantastic. Welcome back to Dredge. Let's try to find some more fishies without hurting our boats, which we already did a little bit. But anyway, how you doing, Taters and Sal? It's, it's a boat fishing game with monsters. You might see one in just a second. Oh, yep, there it is. Get the fuck out of here, dude! Aye! Time to kick it into maximum overdrive. Woo! Try to catch me now, bitch! Go, baby, go! Oh, crap! Yeah, I got a uh, thing. <laughs> Nice. Let's try to turn up the sensitivity. I can swivel around real quick, right? That appears to be for a controller. Yes, this is very, very stylish. Very wonderful. Turn the dead zone up just a little more. Uh, we can get a couple cloth. We do more than just dredge. I'm just in the area. I mean, it's all for the namesake, right? Give me one more. Uh-oh. It's nighttime. You know what that means. Well, in case you don't know what that means. We need to go back to, uh, the Marrows. Uh-oh. Nighttime is indeed spooky. We have to be aware of uh, other boats in the water that are not really boats. Gotta get back to the lighthouse. Almost home. Yeah, we gotta watch out for the pirates, too. That ain't no boat. The whispers. Almost home. Almost there. 
No, did you infect my fish again? Well, I guess it was already infected. No, oh, now I gotta get now I gotta sell it. Well, this is a good stop right here. I got stuff to turn in. Or don't I? Magnificent family crest carved from a whale's jawbone. This must be important to someone. Oh, this is oh, you know what? I should have I should have gone back. I'm gonna leave this in here for now. Put this in here too. Sell that. Right there. Okay, so this junk right here is for upgrading my boat. Uh, the fish are for selling. The little whale bone crest is for a quest. So, okay, so what essentially is happening is we were hired to angle. To be an angler for the, the town, we crashed. Um, spooky stuff happens. So, for instance, you can fish up regular fish. And then you can fish up weird anomalies of said fish. So very strange creatures get fished, fished up every now and then. But anyway, let's see. Messages. Artifact manifest. Uh, Oaken music box purchased from the Antikyrian at Little Merrill for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from undisclosed shipwreck. Has a letter J carved on the underside. Otherwise in reasonable condition. Has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism. Carved wooden tribal mask. 12 piece tea set. Jar of earth. Hmm. So I gotta go to the hermit. Catch rare fish. Gotta wait for that thing to get rotten. And I gotta find relics. That's my main quest, is find these relics. But then I can always fish. I got a weird fish. Fanged cod. No, uh, no ethical fishing here. We gotta fish it dry. Back back here, but you're a boat. <sighs> yeah, you don't fight creatures, though. Fishmonger! I bring you fish. Yeah, I need to repair. I got attacked by a big fish. I know, I know. Let me see, do you sell? So, I know where this is, the refined metal, but it costs 500. And then it also requires 500 to also purchase. So I need to do some fishing. We gotta go out and fish, boys. Hey, wait. So let's go back southeast, right? Southeast, yes. Can't fish down into the abyss yet. You put the upgrades in, uh, you have to research the upgrades, and then you can buy the upgrades. There's also some upgrades that you can get for sacrificing fish at certain altars. So you have to kind of puzzle fish inside that altar. That's how I got this, uh, this sinew spindle. So... Go get some sailfish. To 
big boy. I think only I can. I think I can only fit one in here. Yep. You ate too much candy. You feeling sick? Well, that wasn't very smart of you. Yep, I only have one light. Let's see, uh, my storage, let's grab this guy. We'll sell this. Fresh. Nice. So let's actually... We can buy this now. She takes a book from a nearby shelf and hands it to you. Flicking through it, you see page corners turned in and handwritten notes on the margins. Hey. All right, I can put this here for now while I wait to upgrade. I need another 500 for that. Art of the Silver Tongue. Ooh, nice. Tell I like the horn. Blackmouth salmon. Ugh, a decaying blackmouth. What's wrong with that? Ah. Hello, God. What can I do for you? Is this your family crest? You found it. I never thought I'd see this beauty again. But now I have a further favor to ask. Would you take this to my brother at Ingfell? Tell him, tell him his brother is sorry. And now I'd like to come home. Sure thing. It's just right over here. I feel like the the the, the town's going to turn into Fish Town, the Lovecraftian Fish Town. Towards the end. What is it? I believe this crust is yours. God, I haven't seen this. So did you take it? I knew it. Your brother's sorry. Will you let him come home? I don't know if, if I was in the right state when he left. All right, fine. He can stay in my old workshop, at least for the time being. But I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. See, I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathways through the cliffs to make a shortcut with explosives. I was able to set a charge, but the cliffs seemed particularly unsteady that day, so I didn't risk detonating it. You just need to get there and set it off. It's not far in. I left some yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Anything else? Where'd you say the explosives were? Head through the rock arch in the southeast. Follow the channel and you'll see a yellow flag on the right. Okay. Venus. Get out of here with your Venus. I need to get rid of these fish before I do this. Also, if you notice the eyeball on the top, that's my panic level. I'm at stage two panic. The longer you stay out at night, the more panic you get, the more strange things happen.
Alright, so I gotta go through here, but... There's a monster that spawns in there. So I guess we'll see what happens. But then there's also strange little things that... Um, only activate when you're panicked. A pile of loose debris. Clearing this would take some strong explosives. Oobkalith. Is that what it's called? I think we're supposed to s go over here first. Yep, there it is. Pile of loose debris in the gaps between the rocks. Okay. You like the fuse. What a dickhead. Would you take a little bite? Mm -hmm. Go to the floating dock, or the fish yard, the shipyard. Repair my two things again. All right. Let the whaler know. You done it. We heard the blast from here. Gods the echo. I'm surprised the cliff didn't come down on your head. I've got things ready here. Go and tell my brother that he can come home. All right. Hello again, what could I do for you? How do I clear the debris around here? Mm, you probably need some explosives to ship those rocks. My brother in Inkvel used to make explosives. For the whaling operations, you see, nasty stuff. But with the whales all gone, I can't imagine he's still in business. What else do you want to know? Your brother forgives you. He's found you a place to stay. He, he does? That's a huge weight off my chest. One so old, I hardly remember it was there. Right, well, I'm packed and ready to go. Get inside. The hermit climbs aboard with all his belongings. Yeah, about time someone got rid of all those whales. Well, here we are. The hermit notices the old whaler standing on the dock waiting for him. Little brother, you're home. I'm sorry, I was so foolish. We both were. Come on inside, let me get your bags. The two brothers walk away down the dock. One of them pauses for a moment and turns back to you. Stranger, if you find any more debris that needs clearing, I'm working on making some more packed explosives. Come by the old whaling yard anytime. Here, this one's on the house for all your help. Cool. He put the explosives inside the whale teeth. Hope you can put them to good use wherever you find the cause of it. So they cost 40 each. So how about we do these rocks over here so we don't spawn the big monster. You set the charge and light the fuse. The debris come rumbles, rumbles away. What do we have here? Oh, come on, the high quality right here. Oh, dang it. Ah, well. Of course it's high quality metal. Spent 40 to get high quality or spend 500 to get high quality. Go me. I'm the best. Woo, woo. Oh, 
Artifacts are always nice. You suck! You know what? For that, I'm going out in the ocean at night. Hmm. Find fish to fish. So there seems to be the wind seems to be guiding me in that direction quite a bit. It's getting real dark out here. Time only, um, time only progresses as you move or fish or dredge. So you can't just sit and wait. Let's see, another campsite. Next to the dock is a derelict campsite. Strange symbols are scratched into the sand. What do you want to do? Inspect the symbols. The symbols span the breadth of the camp, twisting this way and that. Some are grouped together into what must be words. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. The last symbol trails off hurriedly and looks unfinished. Whoever left the footprints was barefoot. The prints are large and wide, perhaps indicating that they were left by a man, but you don't know much about footprints. Fresh footprints tread carefully around each symbol. A glint of metal shines up through the sand. Ah, oh, sweet, I got a ring. You take it for yourself. It was indeed an uneventful night, that's true. An extremely rough and worn sheet of fabric is collapsed at the base of some wooden supports. There's nothing remarkable about it. That's okay, it happens. Oh, I went way far. You're boring as fuck. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, get wrecked, scrub. Yeah. Hey, let's get some perch. I feel like I've had a net that would have been better. Wait a second. What do we have here?
A tiger mackerel. I need this. I need to give one of these to uh, a cultist. So he can eat its heart. Please buy them. I need to save one of the mackerels, though. Let's put this in storage. That in storage. Let's do some research on this little tiny jet engine drive. I feel like these would be nice, just in case if my engine gets destroyed, because it's one piece. If that, if one piece in those four squares gets broken, the whole engine goes out. So if any one of these four squares gets destroyed, uh-oh, problems. Alright, so I think the guy was like right in these areas. They can actually break shit. They randomly pick one of these spots. And if you if it picks a spot that has a fish in it, you lose the fish. If it picks a spot that a uh, piece of equipment is, you can't use that equipment. <laughs> Should probably just sell this. Is definitely on a little island. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that ship ain't that. That ain't no ship. A rotting chest peeks out from the skeleton of a wrecked ship. Look inside. Hey! I'll take that. Nice. That's a giant fucking crab! That's what that is! Okay, no, he's definitely not whatever that's over there. That means the whales aren't missing. Oh yeah, this thing. There we go. See, that's why I need to upgrade my uh, my hull. It is an obnoxious. I can't I can't get any of these because those are obnoxious too. I think it might be this island chain right here. This little thing right here. I think it might be this.
Yeah, there he is. Oh, it's still empty. Oh, here you go. Again, they rip into the flesh of the fish, drawing out its heart, and it's consumed as quickly as the first. Almost at the head. They point to a fish on the final scroll. This one is a snake mackerel. This guy likes mackerel. Like, he really likes mackerel. Dolphins! He's gonna turn- if he turns into a fish, that'd be great. That's all I get. We can sell these rings. To our trader friend here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Nice. Hey, we almost got enough money. That in storage. I hope he becomes a mackerel. That'd be that would indeed be great. All right, we got ourselves a weird squid. Wait, we got a toot to our. Yes! Fishmonger? Ooh, nice. We got enough money, we can upgrade. New hole! Four new cargo spaces. That would be great to have. Okay, so we got five new cargo spaces, one additional impact. Excellent. How you doing? So I could get... Well, actually, I have an engine right here. Or I could just get... Actually, I can't afford that. Might as well just install it, right? It's a backup. Free Otter from their watery prison. Otter! Are you in your watery prison right now? Are you okay? Are you safe in there? <laughs> I am doing pretty good. Just upgraded my boat, feeling like I can take on the world.
Ooh, I feel the extra boost of speed. It looks any different. It may have changed. It may have changed. Alright, let's see if we can go into this little uh, this little canyon over here. There's no Wi-Fi! Good. You don't need the Wi-Fi. You have each other. Excuse me. What was that? What's up, Gloris? Yes, new game. You guessed it. Heart of the Silver Tongue. 10% increased sell price and reduced buy price. Nice. for that one. Okay. Oh. I gotta go get some explosives and blow ups the canyon. I'll take this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. I'm about to blow my ship sky high, that's what I'm about to do. But what I really need to do... Is get this guy right here. Dredge up the spooky. The relic.
Yeah, I think my boat looks different visually. Put those in there. All right, let's go inside the canyon. How you doing, Holko? The debris crumbles away. A doubloon. Wow, one doubloon. I feel so lucky. Hmm. Do you think Aha, of course. I knew it. And there's an ore fish. I can't get to it though. A big bag of doubloons. Oh look, and another high quality metal. I'm so glad I spent 500 G on those, uh... Well, you know, probably spending 500 G gave me the, uh, the book. The silver-tongued book. Inventory management is key. I think I bought too many explosives. I don't see where I, anywhere else I need to use them on. Well, I guess I'll have them for later. What about this way? Nope. Let's go turn in everything and let's grab some of those uh, eels that spawn here at night. I know, explosives are, are indeed cool as heck. I'll probably use them later. So we need to get some of these eels. No, don't, no! Ah, I'm panicking! That's what I need. Conger eels. Yeah, 
Excuse me, I'm trying to fish here. Oh, of course. A pile of loose debris. Wait, that wasn't there before. Was it? The fog is gaslighting me. Okay. So I need to save one of the eels. Make it go rotten. Don't ask me why. The, the, the people are strange. And then I'll sell the other two. Now let's also take this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. And we'll do this guy. Yep, they comment on you being really panicked and tired. Nope, yep, nope, nope, I did forget to do this. There we go. the fuck? Motherfucker, big ass shark! Well, that probably spawns because I'm panicking right now. Gotta get back to the lighthouse. Devil Cyclone. Oi, what the fuck? No, I took my engine out. Shoot. This, this was my original speed when I first started. I am calm. My, uh, I'm green eye, oh, I'm green eye calmed. Here, take this music box from me. So you returned. I wasn't sure you were coming back. You drag the massive music box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboard beneath it. The collector doesn't seem to mind. He's focused on the box. You found this at the cliffs, didn't you? Uh, yes. <laughs> Excellent. This should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. He selects one of the silver ribbons trailing from the crimson bound book, opening it to some unseen page. 
And turning to catch the dim light, he whispers the words on the page. After a few seconds, you feel your stomach drop suddenly, as though thrown high by a wave. He closes the book and turns his attention back to you. Instantly return to Blackstone Island. Ooh. Now there are yet more relics to find. Keep looking. The reef at Stellar Basin may have caught the accumulated some wreckage uh, searched around that area. I'm like the location on your map. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess I'm glad I uh, left all this junk in here. It's lucky that I didn't lose any of these guys. Reef, sh reef shark. Cool. No, you can only fit one. The name of my eel, um, Rot. And go back to town. <laughs> yes. Something slithered onto my cargo home. Damn it! They infected my shark. The lighthouse keeper is waiting for you on the dock, looking displeased. Yeah, this is. Yeah, I saw you sailing out towards the horizon, crossing that deep expanse. Do you really think that's wise? It's fine. Maybe this time. You need to be more careful. Even you, with all of your experience, cannot truly know the ocean. Nobody can. Abruptly, she walks away. Her eyes scan the water as she walks along the dock. Um, no, it's not a real boat. I will show you. The mayor appears in front of you on the dock. His face swims before your eyes, and his words blur with the waves crashing around you. I, uh, I okay. See fog shapes, rest, careful, nightmares. You stumble past him into town. They really want you to sleep. I need one more for that. All right, I'm good now. It says go the fuck to sleep. All right, I got my rotting eel. Now I can go turn it into uh Woo, we're fast now. Southeast.
maximum overdrive. You know, I guess it's a good thing I upgraded my uh, my hull because I would have died if not for that from sp from Ghost Shark and Cyclone. Here's your age, Conger Eel. Yeah, perfect. This will do wonderfully. I can offer you a small sum and thanks. Safe travels. Okay. Not worth it. All right, let's go. Let's go west. Whoa, 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 whoa. More trinkets! Bag of doubloons. Excellent. Snapper. Well, I hope there's a town over here somewhere. that up. The abyss. Alright, we need to get abyss rods for these. For these, we don't need. Firefly squid. I think I see a village. Yo, this place looks great at night. Oh, it's alive. I depleted the ocean of squid. Good. What has squid ever whatever what has squid ever done for me?
Okay. Upgrade on that. Rest there and move on. It's floppy. A grouper, huh? You can't flip the fish. Zero out of ten. Yeah. I'm allergic to the sea. I know. Oh, what's that big thing over there? I see. Oh, oh, jeez! He said, get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it! Damn bird is mocking me. I can hear it in the distance. Might not fit in my boat. I can try. I can definitely try. Put these guys in storage. Talk to the researcher. Oh, uh, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I'm a fisherman. Ah, uh, yes. I thought you had the look. But a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you had the time. What do you need? I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost on the interior of the basin, but uh, it was attacked. A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the basin. I fled here and have been making do as best I can, but I had to leave most of my equipment behind. So now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect them all. Firefly squid, Aurora jellyfish, glowing octopus. Well, nuts. I already fished up all the firefly uh, squid. Oh, dang it. Dang it! Ah! Come on, man. It was just a little bump. Just a little bump. It was a baby bump.
Well... At least our mobile dock is around. Hey, how you doing, Moon? Welcome. Oh, this is actually uh, this place. The laboratory is in ruins with the equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Open the cupboards. Hey, I need this. Nice. You emptied the cupboards. Where do you want to look? There are some strange-looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, Not safe! Expect retaliation Im imminently. Evacuation. Evacuating to fort. Where do you want to look? Look at the floor. <laughs> you look around the floor. There are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you follow them along the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. Nice. You pluck an item from the gouge on the floor. An old generator sputters and ticks over. Nice. Need the, uh, I need an abyss rod. Or I can go to... I can either go to the volcano or a mangrove. What do you guys want? Volcano or mangrove first? Message. Uh, 14th of September. I have not written in a few days. I have been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to fog my brain. I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. The ink has run from some lines here and they're illegible. While most of what they hauled was up was junk, they eventually came they eventually came up with a large wooden casket. A hush came over the crew as such a tantalizing discovery. I remember the next morning the next moments with excruciating clarity. He pried it open easily. The buckling board cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. The crashing waves rose to fill my ears. I hear them still. He stared down into the open casket, then turned to me. In his eyes, I saw the void. The page has been torn off here. We are engaged to be married! He sailed us out to the very center of the stellar basin to see the lights. We talked for hours, something we have not done for such a long time, waiting and hoping. Some time past midnight, as we were growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep, the aurora shimmered into the skies above. When I turned to see his reaction, he was already down on one knee. I cannot even remember what he said or what I said, but I know that I said yes. The ring is beautiful, with a span of jewels going right the way around. I cannot take my eyes off of it. P.S. I was not sure whether to write this under yesterday's date or today's, given that it occurred in, at the conjunction of days. But I feel that the news is significant enough to warrant spanning multiple entries. Oh yeah, there's a giant monster in the middle of this, uh, thing. Oh, there's the village. Hmm. Well, it was a village. Now it's ruins. So 
Someone get that dog. Anti-tangle line. Uh. Coastal shallow. Coastal mangrove. Didn't mean to buy that. Well, I guess now I can use it. <laughs> Jet drive engine. Now, let's see. I need money to upgrade. Alright. So, let's see. A lot of Hadal. Ah. So, let's try to get these squid. Or this, uh... This quest done for the researcher. It'll probably lead to uh, being able to fish here. Stay away from the big monster! It's hungry! We are in uh, the stellar basement, or the stellar basement, the stellar basin. Uh, there's a giant monster down here. Sure, there he is. Yum, 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 yum. Damn, if only I didn't uh, fish up all those little, little, those little, oct those little squids. Oh, this, this, this boyo is huge. Crap, I don't have any room for him.
Like I have, li I I can't put them anywhere. Look at them jiggle. There we go. Got him. Uh, you missed a, a ghost shark attacking me. A cyclone attacking me. Yeah, a big giant skeleton ghost shark was like, yeah! And he ran up on me. It's true. It's happened. Here, you get this. So they need to find the Aurora jellyfish. Okay, so it looks like I need to use net only for this. So I need to get. Fig I need to figure out uh, nets. There we go. Firefly squid. Go, 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 go! There we go. Don't you dare, you birds! They're gonna eat my food! Or my fish! No! Well, good thing I picked up two. Boom. <laughs> what if they took the shark? Barracuda. <laughs> hey, you can take a look at the uh, the monster. Some more. You <laughs> the research station. So if we keep moving, we'll find... Here, take my, take my shark and my barracuda. Okay. Nets. Mangrove shallow. What is this one? Coastal. Coastal volcanic. Okay. Crab pot. So we're going to work on that one now. Need one metal scrap. <laughs> yeah, one metal scrap. Let's see, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? See what this does. I poofed. It maxes out my panic. But takes me back home. <laughs> I 
take me keep going north. Twisted Strand and Devil Spine. I'm assuming Devil Spine's probably the uh, volcanic region, and the Twisted is the other one. I can hold a couple sharks now. Now, what I need... I need metal scrap. Spooky monster. Uh, yeah, he attacked my ship. He slapped it with a tentacle. You, traitor. Take my trinkets. Ooh, money. We got a good amount of money. Alright, we need to get... Scrap. Spooking! Oh, we're already. Oh, we're super panicked. There's the shark! The shark! Yeah, it was a shark. He did two damage to me. Oh, this looks like, this looks like a great place to be. A man meets you as you dock, bracing himself against the wind and the spray. After this day, a fresh disciple carried to me atop the waves. Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul. Okay. Your arrival is providence form the deep itself. I have been calling, and now you are the answer. The right to purification is almost at hand, and you are to be my replacement. Okay. Your trial begins immediately. Tell me, what does your spirit seek? Um... Emptiness. Yes, a pure vessel. Only those devoid of mortality can ascend past it. And your flesh, what does it crave? Um. Uh, warmth of the sun. The idea that deludes you, darkness is cast over the rest of your days. Finally, what does the world deserve? Everything. In a way, it deserves all that is washed ashore, freely given from the deep, but no more of that. No more than that. The trial is concluded. You shall have much to learn, but that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Now your role as my initiative to act as Herald of the Purge, just as I was for the one before me. The nearby spires blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone hearts of these three idols lie barren and void. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags beneath, behind us, and ignite the crucibles. But at the shrines of the deep, I will mark them. They will offer further guidance and must provide no more. What's up, MD? How you doing? The statues. Which statues do you want to look at? Left. 
Statue holds a stone crucible. Okay. I don't want to look at any of them. Bunch of cloth. I don't need that. I guess I should rest. I am panicking out of my gourd right now. There we go. What are these? Armored Sea Robin. Scrap. There we go, there's some scrap. Nice. Alright, settle down, creature. I hear you. What is that? Do I need to bring the explosives? I do, I do. Or do I? Yes, I do. Whoa, 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 settle down now. Fire piranhas. place is just a little lame. Wait, I need to... That, that one was a lot louder than the other ones. Oh, also, yeah, if you haven't seen... As you can see, they are not boats. Commit yourself. Let's 
see. Dry dock. There we go. And upgrade. Alright, so let's uh, grab this guy. Come over here. Uninstall this guy. And we can get this guy. I guess we can get both of them. So now we can do mangrove. We have coastal, mangrove, coastal, shallow, volcano. Looks like we got everything. Yeah, we don't need this anymore. Excellent. We got, we got upgrades. 100 lumens. All right, we are upgraded, baby. No, he never, he never elaborated. He just ate it and left. Light the statues. Collect the samples. Catch rare fish. Well, I know where the ore fish is at, and that's it. Stellar Basin is a ring. Necklace of the Twisted Strand. Find a watch in the Devil's Spine. Let's go to the Twisted Strand, northwest. I do like goblin sharks. They're pretty cool. They're neato. Excellent. Hey, lady! New hole. Start putting all these in there. Two cloth, one scrap, two wood. Don't oh, wait. Two cloth, two scrap. Or two cloth, two, uh, two wood. Put this explosive in my inventory just in case we might need it. Hmm. All right, let's see what we got inside the mangrove.
A gar. Hmm. I feel like I need to le lure something into that. Long fin eel. Very long. A large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving away at a wooden stake. He stands as you pull ashore. Stranger, from the, uh, that look on your face, I'd say you've encountered the local wretches. Take a seat. You join him by the fire. I've been trying to rid them from this accursed jungle ever since we wrecked here. The boys call them mind suckers. On account of them, well, affecting the mind. They made us see things, do things. I'd ask you for safe passage away from here, but not until after I've avenged my squadron. I'm listening. I met a few would-be rescuers over the years, but none would help me in my fight. Are you any different to the rest? Sure. I figured you'd be up for it. You have the look. Listen up. First, we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar, and then we'll use that to bombard the beasts. Other planes went down to the north and east of where we are now. I'll mark the possible crash sites on your map. You go and see what you can salvage. Okay. Wait for daytime. Dang it! Fuck. Fucking hat, just fucking had to sh smash into something. You're a skill issue. No, not fast enough. Hmm. Now it's better. It's a mind sucker. Quit sucking me. That's rude. Oi, 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 oi.
Yeah, of course you would do that. Okay. The mine sucker. Okay, that's one. Stone trembles before you, unknown symbols glow from within. A sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones. A deep vision enters your mind. A man flees through the trees, bloodshot eyes wide with terror. He runs into a dead end, cornered by the murky waters, and his pursuer, he turns. A wooden spear flies and finds its mark. Blister Tarpon. Watch out, don't get sucked. The wreckage of an old fighter plane lies buried deep in the sand. You pull a little closer. Look inside. YouTube playlist called Ass and Titties. What's up, Alms? Yeah, we're fishing. We are indeed fishing. I gotta get back to the, the fishmonger. I'm freaking the fuck out, man! Oh shit, I found the, I found the, the other ship. Or the other plane. Something slithered in my cargo and infected my other tarpon. That's okay. A lot of freaky stuff. I'm in the mind sucker zone. Get my mind sucked off right now. It's not great. The versatile rod. I guess we'll do the refined motor. Yeah, go ahead, Moon. Try it out. If you can survive. <laughs> What's up, junkie?
There's a Japanese legend about a giant octopus that turns the sea and sky red. Wow. So I think we go this way. See, there's the mine sucker. Uh-oh. Mangrove! Mangrove! Open! Oh, he's gonna suck me! No! It was telling me, no, don't go that way. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Hey, there we go. This is not the demo, no. How's it going? Found the parts. That's the lot. Now, while I work on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of the plan. You may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoons around here. I've assembled those traps for the mine suckers. Just need to lure them in there. Once they're in, you see, I can fire on them with our new mortar. And that'll be the end of them. No more nightmares. I'll mark the location of the traps on your map, got it? I understand. And it makes three special baits from different combinations of fish. This one takes three fish from the area to make. Okay. I don't have all the fish for the bait yet. Come back when you got them. No, I, I don't have them. How do you honor your squad mates? Hung a few of their dog tags up in the tree behind me. It seemed fitting enough. I've only got tagged from the ones that you must understand. I never found their bodies. You happen to find any other dog tags, I could add them to the tree. Oh, I, f I did actually find one. They take their cl They Wait. They take off my clothes with their mind? <gasps> no! Violated! My innocence ruined dashed! All right, I got a gar. Don't suck me. Don't suck me. We don't have the bait yet. Aye! Yep, I've added the three emotes. The hydropog, the... The wah. And the, uh, the... Nani? Oh shit, the birds. Damn it, they took my mullet.
And we have... And we have Yippee, yep. Oh, it's got two heads. Well, I mean, I guess two heads are better than one, right? Exactly. It's got to go right there. All right there. Let's talk about baiting the traps. There's that one. Let's see what the second one requires. Okay. And the third one. Of course. Two of those guys. Don't you slap me. I need this guy. Don't you bonk me. Here, you can have this guy. No, not all of them. Fuck. Whatever, it's fine. I don't care. Refined outboard engine. It's fine, it's fine. Let me grab this out of storage. Wait, I should probably rest. Get rid of some of this, uh, panic. No, no one saw it. I don't know what you're talking about. Because there's mind suckers in this uh, uh, mangrove. They keep sucking my mind off. And that causes me to panic. Gray mullet. There's there's a sucker right there. Just waiting for me. Oh, good thing I brought the explosives. No, I didn't. I left them in storage. But now I know I need to use them. So we'll come back. Just, just reverse suck them. Ah, yes, of course. 
Fight suck with suck. It's so simple. That one up too. Get some wood up. So we need wood. We need wood for our upgrade. Eels. Figure something out with these guys. They can always come back. We need that. Catfish. Oh, he's thick. Oh, no. He's so thick. And there's a sucker coming for me. We have to do that. I do need cloth. I gotta sneeze. Mushroom. Get me out of here. Go, go, go! Hey, no problem. Baby game. Go. Nice, nice. We'll do some research. Yes, my nose water needs replenishing. Thank you. Grab one of these explosives and a little rest. No selling the fish.
Allergies are nuts, bro. Oh, I could go to my storage here. Dang it. Talk about baiting the traps. First trap bait. One more grouper will be good. Or what's it called? Mullet. One more mullet. Second trap bait. Catfish. Done. Done. That's all for now. Found some dog tags. Here you go. Thank you. I'll hang them on the tree here as promised. Cool. Alright, so it looks like we need two mullets and one more eel. Might as well dredge this up. You never know. Could be something here. like he used a lawn chair with a hole cut in the middle as a toilet in a woods. Taters would know that, not me. That That's a tater move. Uh-oh. Because I, I like to bring a lot of crap along with me. the banana on the front. That's the light. <laughs> What's that big banana up front? That's my boat banana. Uh, it's par in, it's, it's <laughs> all ships need their boat bananas. Yep, it's our banana. But it's a really big light. I got a little lantern on the back, too. Uh oh.
Oui I don't think uh, they're worried about the legality in this area. Alright, here is the third. There you go. That should do it. Just mix these in here and load this into the trap and it will get clear from it. When the trap springs, I'll fire upon it with the mortar. Make sure you bring back proof that the thing's really dead, you hear? Alright, so we need one grouper, or one mullet, and, well actually it looks like a mullet. Okay, it's good. Yeah, mullets. Two mullets is what we need. I can get two right here, that'd be great. There we go. Let's bait these traps, boys. Yes. I love that they respond. Let's see, load these into the trap. There we go. They do respond. And there we go. One, two, and three. Where do I put the baits? Marked on your map, alright. Alright, let's go get some sucks. Damn it! <laughs> Not my fault. Yeah, at least I didn't lose my master bait. That would have that would have been unfortunate. I'd have to at least wait another five minutes or so before I can get another one. I do need another piece of wood. Oh, hey! Haven't seen one of these in a while. A crooked boulder with a small, simple platform at its base. The twisted shape of a deformed fish is barely recognized. Carved into the rock face. Twisted shape of a deformed fish. What kind of fish does it want? Is that... Hmm. I wonder if that's the three-headed mackerel.
There's a trap. See you later, human. Enjoy. Mushrooms. Should be right over here. There it is. Load the trap with bait. You load the bait into the trap, you should probably move away. Got him! Nice. Get sucked. Inside is the obliterated corpse of a mind sucker. The airman will be expecting proof of your success. The rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. Why's it gotta be so big? Mangroves are such a pain in the ash. Oop, there's another one. Yeah. Ah, it needs to be that big for my mind. You're right. You are so right. Mm. What a shame. The rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. Let's go turn these in. There you go. You hand the tattered lump of flesh to the airman. It's almost unrecognizable, but you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Yeah, this is one of the beasts. Progress at last. More to go, though. Oh, you have more. You drop the flesh onto the ground, and he gives it a few slashes with the knife. It wobbles a little. Another one taken care of. One remains. By my count, let's finish this. All right, let's get that last one. Damn it. Damn it. The hell's wrong with me?
Ooh, entwined mullet. Twisting, twitching tendrils sprout from the gill plate of this little fish. They heave in unison, moving the fish against its will. Fix me up, Doc. There we go. Just need that one plank of wood. Alright, so this final one is... On the west side of it. Don't There it is. Easy peasy. Loaded with bait. What a shot! And the obliterated corpse. The rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. Wonderful. No more mind sucking. Let's see here. Uh, oh, wait. I have a cute creature corpse to show you. You drop the large, bloodied carcass in front of the airman. His eyes fill with sadistic delight. He bends down and plunges his knife into the soft flesh. It falls away before the blade, revealing a glint of metal. With a sickening tear, he rests it. With a sickening tear, he rests it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. You recognize it as a necklace, glistening in gore. Well, fisherman, some fortune at last. This ought to fetch a decent prize from the right collector. Here, why don't you take it? I got a relic. <laughs> he stands back from the corpse. A melancholic look comes over his face. And now, well, that's, I suppose... What will you do now? Can't say for sure. I thought I'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but... This has become somewhat a home to me. Doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall stay a while longer. In the meantime, I can make up some special bait for you. It ought to help with your fishing. Special bait, huh? Small portion of bait can be used to attract all manners of nearby species. Ability unlocked bait. Okay. The more you give me, the more bait thing I can get. Okay. You give me enough fish. Okay. Throw bait overboard. Who knows what will turn up? Yeah, let's try that.
Okay, so it's like a collection of the area's fish. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Yeah. All right, let's get back. Pop. Hey, man, I got a necklace for you. You enter the house carrying the ornate necklace. The collector recognizes it almost immediately. An excellent find. I had to man's pride of place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps on a dusty table, candle wax pooling in its corners. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. And I suppose you'll be demanding recompensation as well? He opens the crimson book, its spine cracking audibly. Selecting a page carefully, he begins to read aloud. The words sound muffled as though he's speaking through a thick haze. Fires off a blazing light that dispels and protects. You hear a growling, crackling in your ears. Suddenly, your vision flares and both of your ears pop. He closes the book. We must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we might find another. The reef at Stellar Basin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search around that area. The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. It's locked. We have to signal. They're ignoring me. Rude. Oh. Something's wrong with it. Looks like I can only hold one of them. Yep, one it is. Cleft Mouth Shark. A large body bisected by an enormous grinning maw. Teeth stretched down forever into the blackness of its large gullet. Yep, take my useless trinkets, it's fine. Hey, is everything okay? No, that's fine. Look at those a little later. Launches a flare. The lighthouse keeper approaches you on the dock wearing a question questioning expression. Uh, you must have been around most of the islands by now. Have you found whatever it is you're looking for? Almost. She shifts her weight and leans hard against her staff. 
How could you be so sure the last time you thought you knew and look what happened? She turns from you, shaking her head and muttering. She heads back towards the lighthouse. Damn, that fish is a pretty penny. Incandescent array. Big light. So, I'm pretty sure, okay, so, the introduction is, you, you have a wanted clippings of Angler's Wanted, you crash against the shore, the lighthouse keeper keeps referring to, oh, I thought my friend showed up, you know, I, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, um, we're the friend. We just don't remember. I need to get one piece of wood so I can upgrade. I should probably follow the wind, too. It seems like it's pushing me somewhere. First. Wood. You give me some wood? Oh, really? Thanks. You shouldn't have. See, that's what friends are for. There it is. Thick and sturdy wood. I mean, what other kind of wood is there? Weak and brittle, obviously. That's true. We don't deal with weak and brittle. We need hard, thick, and tough. Yeah, it got dark real quick, didn't it? I do like this, this, uh, this creature. Oh, let's test this out. Yep, cool. It indeed banishes.
seasons would definitely be cool. What's that? New hole, you say? Yeehaw! Tier 3 hole and adds 9 new cargo spaces. Hole can sustain 1 additional impact. Woo, look how big it got. 4 extra spaces. Engine upgrade, light upgrade. Cargo spaces to hold more rods. Net. Let's do more space. Nice. <laughs> well, at least my uh, my light is now facing the right direction, right? Let's see. Tattered recipe. Tattered receipt. Received the sum of fifty dollars and zero cents in exchange for one silver necklace with emeralds on silver mounting. Additional notes received a further three dollars for custom engraving on reverse of mounting. Customer to return tomorrow, the 23rd of December, for collection. Engraving is to be as followings. For J, my shining star. Feels like years since I've been warm. I do not expect him to write. I just need to know that he thinks of me from time to time. The next few lines have been smudged out. He must return. More angry smudging follows. I've written him another letter. This will be the last one. I do need nets to get a fish. But we can always go to the other zone, which is Ancient Temple, this area. Northeast. My boat is upgrade. My boat did... My boat does have visual upgrades. There, got it out. Dolphins. There it is. I gotta figure out where a uh, might be one of these two spots. Actually, what's going on over here first? Snake mackerel. Oh, wait, I need that. Yep, I need that. Yep, only one. Got to keep room just in case. 
One in doubloon. Ah, there she is. I knew she'd be over here. It's my good friend, Traveling Merchant. Explosive, actually. Oh, I'll take that. Definitely take that. So what's screaming over here? Whoa, 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 banish! Where's this guy? A little further. There it is. A frilled shark. Seems like there's a lot of stuff over there. See you later, Hogo. Frilled shark? Sure, why not? Hmm. Time to sell. Now, I wonder if she replenishes her supplies. She does, actually. Let's explore. Careful now. Careful now. I 
need abyss level fishing for that. Alright, I know for a fact that there is... Stuff over there. That I could blow up. Yeah, right there. Use the explosives. There we go. Moving on. Stone tablet. Come on, get out of here, you. Oh, that's what's making the noise. That giant fucking fish. <laughs> that's a moon monster right there. Those guys. Let's get back. No, no, you can't get me here. Ancient stone tablet bearing a strange glyph. Maybe the traitor at Little Marrow knows something about this. it off and buy some more explosives oh, let's go deep Stone shrine and upright slab bears the carving. Two heavily plated creatures are locked in battle. A lower slab holds two shallow grooves. Ah, we need a crab. I should have known. We require crab.
Big fish. Secret fish. And I sold my, uh, the fish that I needed to turn in. Silly me. Well, at least I know where it's at now. Another slab. Give those guys a wide berth. Didn't mean to hit that. But just in case. Stone Shrine. Two pale bottom dwellers hide from their fate. Okay. I think one of them is actually right here. Yep. Just need a sting right now. I feel like that monster is getting really close. What's up, Fisher? We're getting some good bites. Some good bites. Sometimes too good. Stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. A sudden chill rushes through your marrow. A deep vision enters your mind. Blackness. A crimson rift opens in the void. Dreadful silhouettes drift through in a procession of teeth and tentacles. After the last grotesque figure emerges, a membrane spreads over the fissure. A distant groan emanates from the space beyond. See you later, moon. A lot of rings here. Teeth and tentacles. Shit.
God damn it. Oi. I've been using as, as much dynamite as I can. Mm. At least it's cheap. Faced skate species. Oh my goodness. Bones replace cartilage and erupt through soft skin. A frightening new form begins to emerge. talking. Still haven't looked over here yet. A sex tent. Surprising intact navigational tool. Its complex mechanisms have seized up, but this could still be valuable. Nice. room for this what am I doing Yeah, just fishing for fun. Just to show that I can do it. Need to get to that one in there. Stone Shrine. That is definitely not this guy.
It's that guy. I need to get to the abyss. So I need a rod that can fish the abyss. Which I do not have at the moment. So we can't do this area yet. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Oh good, I can run into this without uh damaging my my uh my boat. So I can, I can damage my boat on my own. Thank you very much. Okay. We got a lot of treasure, though. We got a whole lot of treasure. We will go turn in, actually. Oh, it's so much nicer over here. What can I do for you? Check this out. The trader takes the stone tablet from you and inspects it closely, turning it over in his hands. Remarkable. Mm, yes. I do believe this is a fragment of a larger arrangement. He reaches up to a high shelf and brings down a similar looking stone, albeit one covered with much more dust. Some years ago, I acquired this other piece. You found this near those ruins of the Devil's Spine, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, well, I suspect there will be more out there. I'll hold on to this for now and study it further while you search for the other fragments. Oh, you've got another. Wonderful. Please let me see. The trader takes the stone tablet from you and lays it on the table next to the others. Hmm, judging by the age of the stone and the shape of the glyph, these are part of the same set. I'll keep this for now till you come across any others. It looks like they join together to form a square. So hopefully there's just one more to find. In the meantime, do you have any trinkets for me? Yes. Many trinkets. Pia! I just wanted to see what happens when I overheat it. So now I know. It costs me money. <laughs> Always nice. All right, all right. Nice. I think that's a good place to stop, and I hope you all enjoyed yourself. Hope to see you again tomorrow, everyone. Take care. Stay well. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>